Hello my friends and welcome to our alphabet animal of the week. So this week we will be doing our letter X and our alphabet animal is going to be one that you've probably never heard of before and it's called an x-ray tetra fish or just an x-ray fish. Now this fish is called an x-ray fish because it is transparent which means that you can see through the fish's body and as it's swimming around you can see all the little fish bones inside and if there's an adult at home ask them to look one up for you and you can you can take a peek I did put a photo in our learning plan for the week but if you want to look at it a couple more you can so this fish is a very interesting fish I they have them at the Vancouver Aquarium and so I've seen them before they're very small and they're usually found in the Amazon, so we will never really see one here unless you go to the aquarium. So for our alphabet art today, you need to have your x-ray fish template in front of you. You also need a background color of your choice. I've chosen this bright orange today, but even if you just use a white background, you can jazz it up with a little bit of seaweed or blue to make it look like the ocean that the fish is swimming in. But I have this bright orange today. You also need a glue stick, scissors, and there's four colors that we need. We need black, a very, very light blue or gray, a darker blue, and a yellow. And I've chosen to use pencil crayons, but you can use crayons or markers. And then my friends, you also know that we always need our markers for our writing at the end. All right, my friends, so the first step is let's do our coloring. So our x-ray fish is a very, very light blue. He's got a little bit of a sheen to him. So take your light, light blue and shade really lightly. Because remember, he is transparent, so he doesn't really have much of a color to him. It's more of a shine as he swims through the water. So when you get up to the tail, my friends, you will notice that on each tail fin, there's two lines. Now, on the x-ray fish's tail, he has yellow and black stripes. So I will show you. So we're going to start with black right at the tip. on both fins and then yellow second stripe that's the only real color pop of color the x-ray fish has and then you can continue shading in the rest of the body all right once you're done my friends shading in our X is going to be the darker blue. And again, just shading it in. And my friend, it's okay if you don't stay totally in the lines because again, we will be cutting this out. And if you need to turn it, turn the page as you're coloring, that's okay. All right, so coloring all the X and lightly, lightly shading the fish. And then this, my friends, in here are the bones. So these will be kept white and I'll be showing you how we'll be setting up the bones when we cut everything out. So after you've colored everything in, your next step is to cut everything out. And once you've cut it out, you should have this. You should have your fish your X and your bones. So what we have here, this is the backbone of the fish and then these are all his little ribs. Okay, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. All right, so let's take in our background here and we're gonna be turning it sideways so it's in front of us like this 
And the first things first is we are gonna glue down our fish and he's gonna go in the middle of our page. So let's get our glue stick, lid off, turning it up and gluing the back of our fish, making sure we get lots of glue. Let's turn him back over, being very careful as we're placing him right in the middle of the page. Once we're happy with where he is, we can push him down, just like that. Oh, I need a little bit more glue. It's okay to add on a bit more glue at the end. There we go, just like that. Okay, next my friends, let's add our bones. So. The longest strip is our backbone. And that's gonna go, I'll show you first before I glue it, that's gonna go right down the middle of our fish. So you'll notice that there's a side that has more pencil than the other. So turn it over so that the side with the pencil is facing down so you see mostly white, okay? That is going to be our backbone. So that's the first thing that needs to be glued down. So you're going to turn it over, add a little strip of glue. And again, my friends, make sure that this is going in the middle of your fish. So you kind of want to line it up just below the mouth and right where the tail starts. And again, I need a little bit more glue. I think my glue's drying out, my friends. I might need a new one. All right, there he is. And now let's add our ribs. So my friends, we're gonna do three right at the end and three at the beginning. So there's gonna be a little bit of space right in the middle. Again, my friends, you're going to have a side that has more pencil on it. That is the side that you want to glue. So let's start at the end near the tail. One. You want a little bit of space between each. I'm gluing the ribs just like we glue our eyes. Two. And then three. And then our last three are four near the mouth. Remember my friends, if your hands are getting sticky, just make sure to wash them. So starting here, one, two, three. All right, my friends, there is our x-ray fish. And now, my friends, we're going to add our X, and our X is going to go right on top of our fish, just like this. And it's going to look like the fish is swimming through the X, because the X is blue and it looks a bit like the ocean. Or you can see it as, that's the X-ray that is showing the inside of our fish. So let's flip him over. And when we put him on, we want to make sure that he's not going over our ribs. So we can still see the sides. It's okay if a little bit's covered. So the middle of the X should be right in the middle of our X-ray fish. And pushing down our X, add a little bit more glue if you need. And then my friends, we need to add our eye. Now a tetrafish has a small black eye. So you can either use your pencil crayon or a black marker if you have one. And right near the front of the fish, we're gonna add one black eye. Like so, right near the mouth. 